Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Yeah? Hey, go check out the trampoline and see what happened to it. What? What's wrong with it? The holes are not there. Yeah, because there's no net. Can you guys see what happened? The wind ripped the whole net down almost. That's what happened overnight and all day today. That's what 30 mile per hour winds will do to your trampoline net. So, you can't jump on it till we buy a new one. No. I'm being serious, baby. But that doesn't protect, protect you from falling off. You fall off if you jump on it right now. Daddy could tie it back on. <laughs> we just need a new net, baby. Mommy's patched a few holes, but now that's too big of a hole to patch. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we'll try to go get a new net this weekend, okay? And until then, we're going to stay off of it. Can you buy a new one today? Baby, the closest academy, which is where we have to go to get it, is not close. So today, you saw that Jay Zilla tore his net up right on his trampoline? Gosh. I think he deserves to get in trouble for that. Why'd you tear that up, dude? I didn't. And then who did it? The wind. Oh, the wind did it? The giants. Let's go. The giants? And the clouds. Oh, the giants and the clouds did it, honey. Yeah. Mother Nature tore it. Yeah. She's in trouble. You cooking some uh, breakfast casserole? Some leftovers? <laughs> yes, we eat leftovers in this house, people. Night. Yeah, because she doesn't have to do any cooking. Everybody just pops stuff in the microwave. And bam! That's stuff. That's right. How are you liking your hair, honey? I like it. Dude, why are you playing with a baby toy? I like this baby. So we should find you some baby toys for uh, Christmas, huh? Well, you seem to be having a good time playing with that baby toy. We're going to do our filming for gluten-free tips this afternoon. What are you guys hoping for? Huh? You hoping for some breakfast casserole? We already did that. Oh yeah, we've already done that one, huh? Well, give them a hint. Just tell them. It's not like they know how to make it just because oh. I tell them. Yeah, we're making a, uh, we. We. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? I, I said we. <laughs> Pumpkin cheesecake. Yeah. She's thinking about stopping this gluten-free tips channel just because everything she's making is so delicious. She's wanting to eat it all, and she's trying not to eat it all. Right, it's getting me in a lot of trouble. We're gonna eat qu cooked scorpion tonight, guys. Yeah. You want some? You want some cooked scorpion? No. Here you go. Yummy. No. Here, yummy, yummy, <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> yeah, yummy. <laughs> Yummy, yummy. Today, Amy has said that I look like somebody, and I'm going to let her tell you who she thinks that I look like today. It's not Brad Pitt or Matthew McConaughey or some other really hot looking guy like Mr. Arturo Trejo, you know. But, who do I look like today? Jimmy Neutron. What? Do you think I look like Jimmy Neutron? Yes. You need to put a side by side picture up today of you and Jimmy. Okay, guys. Do I look like Jimmy Neutron? Today, I did a lot of work. Um, got my hair to look like Jimmy Neutron. At least that's what the wife says. I uh, put on a, a buddy's shirt here to give him a little bit of pub. You know, haven't worn it in a while. Good stuff right there. Everybody go get some Wee Man Carnet Tacos. Um, Got our VidCon tickets. That's right. Bought tickets for me and Amy for VidCon. Still haven't heard back if I need to buy one for the kids or not. We're really not sure if the kids are gonna go, but I know for sure Amy and me are going. It's gonna. We're gonna have a really good time. Uh, get to hang out with a lot of good people. Hey, what else did I do today? Oh yeah, we uh, we did some filming for Gluten Free Tips. Be prepared to see the new video on Thursday. That's when they always go up on Gluten Free Tips. Um, have you seen my Mother's Day tribute tattoo that I put up on my other channel? I'll put that as the video of the day today. I haven't been getting a lot of submissions for that. Hopefully, um, 
I'll get more and more as, as I continue to keep doing this and more people will click the little link at the end there that says what they need to do. One last thing I wanted to tell you guys. I've been, uh, I've been given the opportunity to help out with October for a Cure from Callie Ann Moore. Um, a lot of you guys know of her music. She's Katie Led's sister. Um, her, her and her family have put together a video series over the last two years of October for a Cure and Callie reached out to me and asked me to put together a video. So in the next couple days you should see my video that I submitted to her up on her channel and I hope you guys like it and enjoy it and definitely if you aren't already subscribed to her go subscribe to her. I'll put a link down below. Um, I think it's really important. It's a great cause and being as I'm a cancer survivor I think it's a really awesome thing that they're doing. Is that I flew out to LA to get a portrait done by Kat because I wanted my mom to have a one-of-a-kind Mother's Day gift um, that I couldn't find in any stores. So I had to find something super special. Um, my mom had recently gone through a major life-changing event. She shattered a few of her vertebrae in her lower back and while she was in the hospital the doctors found out that she had a severe case of osteoporosis. Um, so she had to go through two major surgeries and her parents it was never the same and it was quite a blow to her self-esteem. She got really depressed and she kind of isolated herself from society. So I wanted to make her feel special and show her how much she meant to me. I've always been a mama's boy at heart and she 